places and fun. And today we're going to be talking about some of the fun things you can do on the Branson Strip. Highway 76, this is the place where all the fun happens. Um, it's also the place where you may run into some traffic, but there is so much fun stuff around you that we're hoping that even in the midst of bumper to bumper traffic, you will be entertained. So we're going to just start by, if you are coming back from Silver Dollar City, so Silver Dollar City is in Branson West, if you are coming down all the way toward the landing, we're just gonna start and pick out some different attractions along the way. So the first attraction you would encounter as you're heading down from Silver Dollar City is the Butterfly Palace. Head on in there, they have a great place where you can see all sorts of butterflies flying around. The kids can grab an explorer's hat and some magnifying glasses and just check out all the lovely butterflies. It's like something you've never seen. They also have other exhibits. So they have a reptile exhibit. They, they even have a mirror maze. So there's other places in Branson where you can pay to go through a mirror maze, but here it's all included in your ticket. And it's a really great maze too. I can't always find my way out or sometimes I come back out the entrance, which is what you're not supposed to do, but it's a lot of fun. All right, so heading on down, I'd like to highlight Bigfoot on the Strip. If you just want to be slung into the air or do some justifying drops or things like that, you can do that here at Bigfoot on the Strip. I was not brave, the, uh, I was not brave enough to do them, but my husband and my boys were, so they did it. They had a lot of fun. There's also a, a movie ride you can do. You can participate in the arcade, mini golf, all sorts of fun things like that. So afterwards, you are going to pass Whitewater. Whitewater is owned by Silver Dollar City. It is so much fun in the summer. Lots of water slides, you know, the lazy river, the wave pool, all those traditional um, things that you'll encounter at a water park. So definitely check out Whitewater if it's hot and you wanna cool off. Across from Whitewater, if you decide you're hungry and you wanna stop for a bite, there is CeCe's Pizza. Now you have CeCe's probably all over the place, but there is a really great arcade in here so you could stop for some pizza and also have some fun playing some games with the kiddos. Really, you know, the traditional CeCe's, but they're right on the strip and very convenient and fun. Who could pass up Ripley's Believe It or Not? So you'll see this huge robot just standing outside. You'll get in there, you will see all sorts of unique oddities that you can't see anywhere else. Anywhere from the world's tallest man to shrunken heads, it's all in there. So if you wanna gain all kinds of knowledge about stuff you never knew you needed to know about, head on into Ripley's Believe It or Not. Across from Ripley's is the Branson Ferris Wheel. Now this was um, brought in from Chicago and now it has become a icon or a landmark of Branson. You can see it from all over the city, especially at night, it's so gorgeous, it's all lit up. Sometimes they'll do light shows on the Ferris Wheel. So definitely look at it, check it out, even if you're not going to ride it. The Ferris Wheel is owned by the track and the track has several locations on the strip. So if you wanna uh, play some arcade games, play some laser tag, go go-karting, things like that, definitely check out one of the track locations. The next thing I'll highlight on the strip is the Titanic Museum. Now this is a sobering yet exquisitely done tribute to the sinking of the Titanic. You will see all kinds of um, artifacts You'll be given all kinds of information. There's interactive exhibits. It's great for people of all ages, all the way, um, you know, from kids all the way up through adults. And there is so much to do and see here. It really is a beautiful museum and it's so immersive. Sometimes you feel like you're right there on the Titanic in the midst of the action. So it really will pull at your heartstrings. It is, of course, the sobering story of the sinking of the Titanic, but really well done and something I highly recommend. Next, you will see a giant monkey climb, gorilla, <laughs> not monkey, there's a difference. You'll see a giant gorilla crawling up the side of a building. This is of course King Kong and you are at the Hollywood Wax Museum. You can go in there. The great thing here is that you can take pictures with all these celebrities who are of course there in wax form but that's really fun, lots of great photo ops there. They also have mini golf there, they have the Castle of Chaos, which is kind of like a scary, interactive movie ride type thing, and they have a mirror maze. So you can check out all that out, or just at least hit the Wax Museum if you just wanna do one thing, because it's pretty fun. Across from the Wax 
Podcast Museum, I just want to highlight one of our favorite shows in Branson, and that's Buckets and Boards. Come on out and see Matt and Gareth. They are a hoot. So not only is it percussion, as you might imagine, but there is also improv, comedy, singing, even some gymnastics moves, a little bit of everything here. Um, I believe they run probably spring and summer, so check out their schedule on BucketsAndBoards.com. That's Buckets, the letter N, Boards.com. You'll have a lot of fun there. Heading further down Highway 76, you're going to come to the Village Shops. So lots of great little shopping and dining in this area, but we just want to highlight one of our favorite restaurants in Branson, and that's the Sugar Leaf Bakery and Cafe. Great food here, especially if you want to check out some sweets. You cannot find anything better in Branson. So we will talk more later in a subsequent video about our favorite restaurants in Branson. So make sure you press the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell so that you can hear more about that when the time comes. A little bit further down the strip, you're going to come to Grand Country. Grand Country has a little bit of everything. They have Splash Country, which is an indoor water park. They also have a variety of shows to choose from. There's an animal show, there's comedy shows, country show. So come check those out. There's a great buffet, so if you're wanting to get some good home cooking, you can find that there. They have the fun spots, so some arcade games, indoor go-karts, mini golf. It's great for everybody, so come on, check it out. No trip to Branson would be complete without Dolly Parton Stampede. Do you agree with me? Let me know your favorite Branson must-do in the comments below. Now the Stampede is a dinner theater, so you're gonna get a great meal, you get to eat with your hands, all different courses, you will be so full when you leave here. And you'll be watching um, a show with, of course, a lot of horsemanship, but also a ton of audience participation, some singing, some comedy, a little bit of everything. Really a great, can't be missed show. Next door to the Stampede, you will see Fritz's Adventure. It cannot be missed. Head on in here in any kind of weather and you can experience a ropes course, some climbing obstacles, some a laser thing that you gotta try to get down under, tons of things you can climb into, an airplane that's hanging from the ceiling. This will give you a workout. So if you wanna get in there and you wanna burn some calories, this is the place to do it. Fritz's also hosts the Erodium. So if you are the brave type and you wanna go flying through the air, Check this out, it's pretty incredible. I haven't done it yet, not sure if I'd be brave enough. As you can probably tell by now, I'm not the bravest person when it comes to crazy or unusual rides, but for those of you who are, this is probably just the thing for you. Heading a little further down the strip, you are going to pass through downtown. So downtown Branson has lots of great shopping and dining. They have um, Dick's Five and Dine, which is a little general store that's been there forever. Lots of great things to see and do there. So definitely make sure to just take a break, walk through downtown if you get a chance. Now going through downtown, you're going to go past the Scenic Railway. If you want to take a gorgeous scenic trip into Arkansas, I believe it also goes um, some, through some scenic areas in Missouri too, just depending on which way they're going. Definitely make sure to check this out. My husband and I took the dinner train and this was fabulous. We got to eat as we watched that beautiful scenery go by. It's a real treat. So 76 is going to dead end into the landing. Now the landing is this really cool outdoor shopping mall. Lots of places to eat, play, and dine there, so you definitely want to check it out. In the middle of it, they've got this really cool fountain, water, fire thing where you can sh see shows every hour on the hour. So make sure you stay around for that. Now I really hope you've enjoyed this scenic trip down the Branson Strip. Um, I've just picked out a few of the things that there are to see and do. There was really so much, I could never cover it all. But these are some of my favorites. If you have some favorites, comment in the section below and we'll see you next time. Safe travels, everyone.